Hey everyone, my name is Ethan and welcome to a brand new Knights and Dragons video. Today guys, we're going to be opening some more of the new chest. We'll be doing 11 and then we're going to go and talk about the new epic boss and uh, the special keys that it is currently offering. So guys, let's go straight into the chest. We'll get it over and done with. First thing is first, this is a cool looking chest. Uh, the Vine Horror is actually a kind of cool looking armor. Like it's very, very Halloween-y looking, you know what I'm saying? But uh, let's go over here and we have the Dark Scale chest. So the Shadow Forge that is available in this one is the Creature Scale Mail. Awesome. Uh, let's see if we can get lucky this week. You know, this will be our third week in a row doing the chests. And, uh, oh, there's a recolor, the Darkwind Archer. Oh, they remade that armor. It looks pretty cool, actually. I like. As I was saying, guys, this will be our third week in a row without anything good. Let's see if we can get lucky today, boys and girls. Open now. 317 gems left over for the next week. All right. So we have ourselves an epic. Of course we have an epic. Another epic. Uh, a super rare. No, no, no. Uh, epic. <laughs> Got ourselves another epic. Uh, one more epic for the pile. Epic again. Uh, epic. And an epic. And another epic. Would you believe it? An epic. Alright, so no luck again. <laughs> so the Aegis of Sky Mastery, Northerners Battle Gear, Armor of the Devoted, two Beast Masters Battle Gear. A bronze chromatic, a triskelion war gear, maelstrom irons, gold chromatic mantle, and a silver chromatic mantle. Guys, too bad. Dang it, man. <laughs> Nothing good. That's fine. Wow, the accursed drag mail. That's a cool looking armor as well. All right, so let's uh, let's head over to the epic boss here, guys. The Getty. Getty. I I don't I don't know how to say it. It's a redo. This was a uh, epic boss as well in the past, but now it's a new one. So whatever. But anyway, let's go now. Milestone rewards, guys. You'll see here that they have this very special key at the 30 mark. This is the one that you're gonna want. I'm assuming that this is in fact the Halloween key. So there'll be a special chest that comes out that'll look like a Halloween chest, and uh, you'll be able to, of course, open it with these keys. There's no collection event going on, which is a little bit of a bummer, but, you know, the epic boss is something that a lot of very high-level players don't really participate in, uh, and I think that something that they have definitely gotten right this time around is with the leaderboard rewards for this one, instead of just getting the fusion boosts, you actually have access to some more of these spider keys, which is awesome. I think that's a really good decision, because obviously it has made the leaderboard a little bit more competitive. Uh, let's go right to the front if we can. Yeah, so right to the front, obviously. It's made the top 10 a lot more competitive uh, than just the standard going top 10 so that I can advertise for my guild. You know what I'm saying? So that's really cool. I really like that. They've also uh, put it in with this week's war. So the Mandrake armor is being reused and obviously buffed again, like all of the armors in this game at the moment. I really don't approve of it. I really do not approve of it. But we don't know what's going on at Gree HQ. There might be something. So 30,000 points like that. 30,000 points. If you war consistently over the weekend, you will be able to get that with free very easily. In fact, the 40,000 is doable with free energy. Assuming that wars are the same length as they were back when I used to play this game. So uh, you could actually get a lot of keys just for doing the war here. And then obviously based on your milestone, I believe the top 10s. No, maybe a little bit lower than top 10. Here we go. So, uh, top 15 get a spider key, get three spider keys. Uh, all the way to top 50 gets a spider key. That's fantastic, guys. So, if you're going to participate in this war, you should really use that free energy as effective as you can and uh, try and get yourself at least that key at 30,000. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's Knights and Dragons video. I do have a quick question for you. I was thinking about starting a new account, uh, like starting over 2016, a 2017 account, even. Uh, I still really enjoy Knights and Dragons. I just, I don't have the money to put into it on this account like I used to, like to play at that really high level. So I was thinking I could start at a low level, run my own guild very, very casually. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of that in the comments section below. While you're down there, why don't leave a like and share this bad boy with your friends and family. Guys, three weeks in a row, no luck whatsoever. But you know how the chests are in this game. Maybe next week, maybe next month. Maybe next year, eventually, we're going to get a Shadow Forge. Guys, thanks for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.